everyone. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for all signs for the weekend of June 4th, 2021. You guys are seeking a psychic reading. Contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Um, and you will find a link to everything I offer in the description box below this video. Okay. So for the weekend of 6-4. What do we have going on here? A lot of high energy. We are under retro until the 22nd, the time frame of the unexpected. And honestly, I need you to watch your weekly videos because it's going to hit the signs differently at different times. Okay. So let's take a look for the weekend. This is for everyone. What do we have going on here? First card up. Three of Coins, Three of Pentacles, all about timing. This is in regards to finances, okay? Um, if you're looking for money to come in, it is a timing card, um, generally indicating three weeks, okay? Uh, next to that, I have the Ace of Wands. New beginnings, new beginnings are of now, actually. And for some of you, it's going to be a new beginning in communications, okay? And we have the Two of Swords, Two of Swords. This is your decision making, okay? This is time to make decisions for a lot of you. These are decisions that you put off for too long. We have the Empress, which is the mother card, the home card, positive changes on the home front. And in the center of your reading, we have the Devil. That could mean a couple different things. So I'm going to wait till I pull the clarification card on that. Um, then we have the Fool. Love, love, love the energy of the fool. The fool says that you're happy, you're carefree, you're doing your thing, you're doing you, you know? Uh, but it's also saying don't get so caught up in happiness and stuff that you're making foolish decisions and you're not thinking things through. We have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, this is reuniting with someone from the past. Now, before you would want to say, I don't want to re reunite with anyone from the past, this person is from the far back past someone you're not thinking about so whoever said they're going i don't want to reconnect with anyone from the past it's not that person okay this is someone you're going to be very happy about reconnecting with and then we have the page of cups this could be an unexpected offer of assistance or an unexpected offer of love i tend to say more for what i'm looking at here this would be an unexpected offer of love and I also want to throw out a Pisces energy. It may resonate with some of you. And yeah, Four of Cups comes in as actually an unexpected offer of love. So, let's jump over here and clarify. See what we have going on here. We're going to start up top with that three of coins, three of pentacles. And with that, you have the two of pentacles. Same thing. It's a timing card. Three of pentacles says, you know, what time the money's coming in. This one says if you're juggling financially, that struggle is almost over. Okay. On the ace of wands, I have the star. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Okay. With that, it also says that any delays are actually in your favor. Two of Swords comes in with the Lover's card. Strong in the love life, as we saw closing out down there at the bottom. Okay. Now, that applies to my couples as well as my singles. Uh, if you're single, there's definitely something new going on in the love life. Okay. On the Empress, we have the Five of Cups. Only downfall for the weekend. Guys, get out your head. You're overthinking things. Roll with it. Those that are stopping analyzing things, you're wasting time. Okay? Just roll with it. You, When you overthink things, you take your energy from here down to here. It's not good. The devil card energy comes in with the five of pentacles. The justice card. And the eight of swords. Okay. So the devil is not actually a bad card. I think it more or less has to do with the love life. Um, and what we're looking at here is about money. Five of Pentacles, financial blessing as well as a spiritual blessing. 
justice comes in in your favor. Now, this could be a large lease and or a purchase. Um, this could also indicate with that devil card there to watch the fine print that you sign. Um, but any kind of legality, any kind of legal document you're going to sign, this is going to your favor. And the Eight of Swords has popped up. And this is what I call the card of self-imposed restrictions. And this says no one is holding you back at this time but you. So remember that. On top of the Fool, we have the King of Swords could represent a Libra energy. This is someone of authority, prominent person. Um, could actually be someone in uniform, to be quite honest with you. And then we have on the Six of Cups, we have the world. As in the world is your oyster. Things going your way. Page of Cups comes in with the Emperor. Dominant, prominent person. Um, I really want to say this is a really take charge type person. One that gets things done. Okay. And for whatever reason, I see some travel with this person. I don't think it's this particular weekend, but I think it's upcoming. And the Four of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords that's coming in as a warning card. I'm not going to say someone is lying. I don't think that's the problem. What I'm seeing here is more or less that someone's not telling you everything. Okay? And your bonus card comes in with the Five of Wands. Not everything's perfect. There's still some challenges out there. Okay? But overall, energy looking like a good weekend. A lot of love going on. Use of money coming, or money is coming, but I can't say it's all about money this particular weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your weekly videos as well as your dailies, and I'll see you soon. Bye.